and we're live. <laughs> and I am so well lit. <laughs> it's lit in here. Um, <laughs> I'm trying out these like new lights. It, there's one hanging. It's pointed on me. You just can't see it. But um, I was given some lights for my birthday. So that's awesome. Um, but anyway, hello and welcome to Disasters with Anna. Um, oh my gosh, it's so weird. I didn't go live last week because I was um, traveling, um, doing some social distance celebrations. Um, and it was, um, it was so much fun, but it's like, it's like, um, it's like that, like riding a bike thing where you're like, like, oh my God, I didn't go live for one week. So I come back <laughs> this week and I was like, how do I do this? <laughs> What, what am I doing? I've lost all knowledge. I don't remember how to do this. But um, but yeah, anyway, we're back. Everything's fine. <laughs> Hi, Rachel. Yes. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Here we go. The watermelon. The baby watermelon. I mean, I, I say baby, but I mean, this thing, it's, it's bigger than my head. Only slightly. Oof. All right, no, it's significantly bigger than my head. <laughs> and look, it's got this cute little sprout thing on it. This is a this is a solid watermelon. This is very good solid watermelon. We're gonna have to cut it up very soon. Um, oh, well, happy Friday, everyone. I am drinking some really pretty rose sweat cider. Although, like, it almost looks like it could be something watermelon. Um, now, of course, the first thing we have to do is chop up the watermelon because it's going to be used in everything we make today. This is a watermelon themed episode. I am super, super excited. I have two different cocktails in mind. We'll see if we get to both of them. If not, I'll just have to do like a short video of one of them. I have a bunch of short videos like in mind or ones that are already filmed that I'm just like working on editing. So, you know, they'll be out there at some point. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh. I don't know about all of you, but I feel like it has just been like a crazy week, a crazy couple of weeks. Whew. I feel like I'm catching my breath. Virgo season is kicking my butt for sure. Um, yeah. So yeah. So, but hopefully we, maybe we'll get to two cocktails today with our fancy watermelon. Um, and if we don't, then I'll just have to post one soon, but I'm very excited. As, um, I said, one is going to be like one idea I had is a watermelon kiwi, like cooler. And then this other idea I had is a whipped watermelon martini. And I'm very excited about that one too. Um, so we'll see, we'll see if we get to both of them. And then I'm really excited about this watermelon salad. I've been like brainstorming with a bunch of people being like, what do you think sounds good with watermelon? Does this sound good with this? Do, would you eat these things together? Uh, yeah, but this is a totally like wing it episode. I haven't done any of this ahead of time. The only thing that I made ahead of time that I will show you is I did make a homemade white balsamic vinaigrette ahead of time. It's the only thing I did. And I, and I winged it too, and it was very good. So I can post how to make that as well. But all right, well, it's been a couple minutes of me chatting. So hi, Kyle. Is there a bad, no, there's no backup watermelon. This is it, this is all we got. It could be a disaster. Oh God, I think I am nervous. I'm nervous about this episode. This is like when I did the champagne episode. I was very nervous going into it because I'd never opened a bottle of champagne before. It was only a slight disaster. I only spilled some champagne on myself, but not like a disaster like those YouTube video champagne disasters. I don't think it was that bad. I didn't like knock a tooth out or something. But I have also never cut up a watermelon before. And like <laughs> only maybe like 30 minutes ago, I was like, I guess I should like watch a tutorial on how to do this because I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't know. I, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But, but no, Kyle, there is no backup watermelon. This is it. She's it. She's all we got to work with. Um, okay, so... 
couple of things before we get started. Um, I'm gonna put my apron on. I have a brand new apron that I'm very excited about. I am still getting birthday presents, which is like wonderful. I love it when my birthday just continues for months. It's, it, it's, it's really the best, but this is, look at this. This is so cute. Paris. Oh yeah. It's really precious. Oh my God. And there's, um, there's puppies on this. So now I have a cat apron and I have a puppy apron. It's, it's really perfect. It's like the best of both worlds. And my friend who gave this to me is a very big dog fan. So it makes sense. <laughs> Maybe. Well, she knows how much I love Paris, but it also makes sense. Um, <laughs> it also makes sense that um, she's like, oh, no, no, no. You can't just have a cat apron. Cats suck. You need a dog apron now dogs and cats, but whatever. My friend who gave this to me, who I will leave unnamed, just, <laughs> she does not like cats at all. <laughs> you know who you are. Um, but yeah, anyway, Paris. Ta -ta -da. Oh, hey, Craig. Oh yeah, that's metal as fuck. Oh, thank you. Is it the fact that it's Paris or just puppies or both? I'll, I'll take both. Okay, now one thing I want to do before I get started chopping up this watermelon too, because again, I have no idea what disasters are to come since I have never cut a watermelon before in my life. And thankfully, I have a friend who let me borrow an actual watermelon knife. So I just wasn't like, you know, I don't know. I'm not going in blind, I guess, kind of. But I might come out blind now. I don't know. <laughs> We're not going to poke any eyes out today. Not doing it. But I want to... Um, Yes, uh, dogs need love too. Exactly, I love dogs and cats. I'm just a cat person, but I do love dogs. And you know, I I feel like Paris is somehow more of a dog city than a cat city. I, I don't know why, I don't know what that means. I, I, I don't know, I can't tell you why, but I can see it being a dog city and not a cat city so much. Although ugh, the French love their cats. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, we're we're not going into that. <laughs> I have an um, I have a shout out to do before we get started um, chopping up this watermelon. Um, so my friend Rachel, um, I've talked about uh one of her podcasts, Wine Dine in sixty nine. Um, I've shouted it out a couple times before, but she is also featured on another podcast. Um, so this one is called No Avatars Allowed. It is fun and unique and nerdy. Um, it is a podcast about video games, um, philosophy and theology and how all of these things intersect. Um, she's been talking to me, you know, about this podcast for a long time. I've listened to a few episodes, um, and they all like, it's a couple different people and they all like play these games each week and do all this prep to talk about like what these games mean, how it was playing it, learning it, um, and just connecting it to theology and like all these everyday life growth, personal things. It's a lot of fun. Um, so it's a good way for like nerdy and deep to like kind of intersect, I think. Um, and I love games. I love hearing about games. So the information, so again, it's called No Avatars Allowed. You should check it out. It's available everywhere you listen to podcasts um, and also at allportsopen.com. I will be putting all that information in the description of the video. So you can check that out. Um, yeah, you know, as I said before, we all have to support like, people starting shows and podcasts or channels or, you know, whatever. So definitely go check it out and give it a listen. Cool. So that was my shout out for today. No avatars allowed. And you should also check out Wine, Dine, and 69. That's another great <laughs> podcast that I feel like the name already kind of, you know, speaks for itself. If you're curious, just go listen. All right. Uh, watermelon time. <laughs> Cats are the superior. That's a fact. Ooh. 
Ooh, I don't know. That there's that whole like, remember that cats and dogs movie where cats are definitely the evil ones? They're definitely like the genius evil minds for sure. <sighs> the whole time that you were there, I'm assuming in Paris, it smelled like dog crap because nobody picked it up. Ah does that mean it's a more of a dog city? Eesh. That's not a fun part of being dog city though. Mm. Also, cheers, everyone. Happy Friday. We've made it to Friday. Ugh, I feel like this week was a struggle. You know, it's like after a long weekend, it's always hard to come back. There's so much to do. There's a lot of pressure. So cheers to everyone for making it. Oh, awesome. Kyle, subscribe. Thank you. I'm assuming you mean to one of the podcasts. That's awesome. Cool. So watermelon time. Okay. So... Now, now, of course, until I get like a better camera situation, you're not gonna like be able to see me chop this up too much. I can angle my camera down a little bit. Although I finally have better lighting. So, you know, it's, it's progress, <laughs> step by step. We're on episode nine. <laughs> but with this watermelon, I have looked up how to chop it up. Hi, Manette. Hey, you're just in time for the watermelon sacrificing. <laughs> um, I've looked this up. We shall see how this goes. Philosophy and video games, that's your whole wave. Yes. I know, I know. And I got to get into like, I'm such, mm, okay, okay. No, no, no. Focus, watermelon time. Okay, I will talk about games later. I can talk about this all day. Not video games, but other games, but I'm interested in video games. Okay, so everything I read says that you should like cut off the ends of the watermelon and then chop it in half. No, no. Oh, wait, no. Maybe that was wrong. Mm. Oh, wait, wait. That was for like if you want triangle chunks. I think you have to chop off the ends and then you like almost peel it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> mm. And then chop it into rounds and then dice up into cubes. Because we want it cubed because we're going to put it on the salad and in cocktails. This is what I'm thinking. Ooh. <laughs> You'll get me into video games one day eventually. Hey, 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 I've played a few. A few. I'm just one of those, like, board gamers, you know? You know? Uh, but I am interested. I am interested in video games. Okay. Also... Manette, I'm sorry you hate life. Cheers to making it to Friday. I know you are working hard. Thank you to everyone who is continuing to work through all this. You guys are amazing. Oof. It's a lot and we all appreciate you. Okay, to this watermelon. I'm gonna try to angle this camera down and see if it works, I don't know. Okay, got the watermelon here. Okay, Whoa, move it up just a little bit. There we go. Okay, watermelon is in focus. Okay, so what I read, uh, we're gonna see if this works. I don't know. Oh man, this knife does not seem very sharp. I was told by who I borrowed it from that it was very sharp. Oh no. This could truly be a disaster episode. I mean, if I can't cut the watermelon, you know, basically my whole idea is I've got a kiwi. <laughs> my whole idea for the episode is moot if I can't get this watermelon cut. The only other thing I have is a kiwi. <laughs> it's not going to do much for me. <sighs> okay, okay, I'm getting there. <sighs> Okay, almost there. Oh man. Okay. I don't think I was supposed to chop that much off. <laughs> the end of it. Yeah, nope. <laughs> I'm like gashing. Hold this watermelon. Okay, no. It, <laughs> I think I was just supposed to <laughs> cut off a little bit at the end. Okay, okay. Let's try it a little bit this time. And also, I'm like, ugh, yeah. See, I don't think, hmm, let me look at the comments here. 
Maybe other people have suggestions. Maybe I'm doing this very wrong. <laughs> oh, Manette, you're in your... <laughs> oh my gosh, you're in your closet. Hi, hiding. Mm. Hi and hiding. <laughs> you don't have a chef's knife for your cooking show. Oh, it's... <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> Craig, jeez. No, no, I don't. I'm at my grandmother's house. And, well, no, but who am I kidding? I don't have a chef's knife at my own house. Yeah, no, I don't. I guess it's called disastrous for a reason, right? <laughs> um, it's time to plus ultra. Yes, it's time to plus ultra with this watermelon. Okay, all right. <sighs> okay, this side I'm kind of getting... But also, though, like, okay, we're supposed to use a chef's knife or a watermelon knife, though, for watermelon. Because, look, it's serrated. I thought, I'm oh, supposed to use a watermelon knife. Not, uh, what? I thought chef's knives aren't serrated, but I could be so wrong. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This side is going much easier. <laughs> <laughs> Got the other side, much easier. Okay, so this is what I have so far. Now, whew, what I read, this is hard work. You have to like really want watermelon, you know? You gotta like want it bad. It's not just a fruit, you don't like pick up, it's not like an apple. God, okay, but anyway. <laughs> so, okay, so I've got both sides cut off here. And then what I read about how to cube it is that it's almost like if you had, like you use the watermelon knife to like almost like peel it, like you peel down from top to bottom and then we'll chop it into rounds and then chop it into chunks after that. That's, that's what I think. That's, that's what the internet told me. I thought that makes sense. You've never heard of a watermelon knife. Yeah, apparently this is a watermelon knife. It's serrated. Mm. <laughs> yes, my arms are going to be so swole. Oh, man. Oh, no. I think it's literally going to be this hard, though. Like, is it going to be this hard to... Okay, yeah, I don't... Mm. It's going to be this difficult to, like, peel the sides of it. I don't know about this. Hey, Mush! Oh, my God. You just came in, you came just in time to see me muscling, cutting up this watermelon. Look at the two sides of it. Sharpen my knife. Okay, I was, I'm borrowing this from a friend. I was told that this was a very sharp knife. So I will be taking that up with them afterwards, let me tell you. Okay. Yeah, no, there's no way. There's no way that's going to work. Okay. This knife is not sharp enough. Let me see if I have a sharper knife. I doubt it, though. Uh, okay, there's this knife. I can see if that works any better. Oh, hey. Wow. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. I know. I'm about to show you, don't worry. I'm about to show you the action of peeling it, but it really was not working. And apparently this other knife is much sharper. Okay, here we go. Whoop. Okay, so here's what I was trying to do, right? With this one, this pink one, and it's not working. And I'm like trying to like literally saw it, right? I guess that's really not sharp. But then this one, I did it just for like a second and bam. Okay, so all right. The problem is me. I mean, well, not, I mean, not me, maybe exactly, but the knife. Oh God, that's so much easier. Jeez. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, so I should just take these chunks and put them in the garbage. Oh my gosh. Okay. For real. Okay. I'm just going to show the difference one more time. This knife, this is what I've been working with. I am pushing so hard. Yeah. No. <gasps> Ta -da! Oh my gosh. Wow, look at that. God, this poor watermelon. 
this looks like. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> so, okay, everyone in the chat. Yes, you were you were quite right. You were quite right. My <laughs> my knife I was using was not sharp enough. I have learned my lesson. Okay, this is going so much better now. Okay, this chunk's away. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh, it smells good too. So, oh no, I think I chopped a bunch of actually good watermelon off with that one. Okay. Okay. All right. It's looking okay. I think I have to flip it over now. And okay, so I'm gonna flip it over. Ah. And chop off this. And... Wow, they really made it look so easy on the internet to do this. I mean, maybe it's just me. Maybe this is really easy. But <laughs> I don't know. I, I still think I'm kind of like, all right, yeah. If you want watermelon, like, this is work. This is work. You're not going to just get watermelon in five seconds. You know, it's got to be one of those fruits you really want. Like, oh, my gosh, I do love pineapple. I love fresh pineapple. Okay. I'm going to put the camera back up. Okay. I love fresh pineapple, but it's so much work. It's so much work. In my mind, it's so much work. Whatever. Maybe it's not that much work. <laughs> Get with the comments. Sharpen your knife. Yeah. I know my friend did lie. <laughs> Bingo. Do I have foil? Yes, I know. It is a lot of wasted watermelon. Maybe I should just like eat it. Ooh. Well, that's pretty good. Mmm. <laughs> pretty good. Go ahead. Okay. So, <laughs> this is what I have. Oh my god, it looks like a crystal. It's like a crystal gem. <laughs> Yeah, I think I did waste a lot of watermelon though, sadly. I don't like to waste things, but you know, give me a break. It's my first time cutting a watermelon. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna turn it on its side and then chop it into like rounds and then chop it into chunks. That's what I'm going with. Chef knife for the win, yes. Yes, Craig, chef knife for the win. I didn't even realize we had this knife in here. <laughs> This is a watermelon <laughs> Oh no, your grandmother would not be impressed. Oh my God, the peeled watermelon's freaking you out. Yeah, it is kind of weird, right? It could be like a head, it's like a glowing orb. I've been watching way too much um, Umbrella Academy and I'm like, and Steven Universe. So I'm like, ooh, it could be like some portal to a different time, or it could be a crystal gem, like a ruby or a, uh, or pink diamond, or rose quartz or something, but okay. okay enough of that. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm very sorry. I'm, I think most grandmothers would be very displeased by with how much watermelon I wasted there and I do not like to waste things but you know can't dwell on it you live and you learn okay this is going a lot better now look I have these nice little like watermelon rounds yeah so let's just start with a little bit I guess I'm gonna set this off to the side oh my god Ooh, you know what you know what else this looks like um like a Himalayan Salt lamp. That's kind of what else it looks like, right? 
Okay, I'm gonna put. <laughs> Boop. Okay, we're gonna let this guy sit in here off to the side. Oh God, that does look weird, right? It's like some giant piece of meat. Ooh. I don't know if I can leave it there. Uh, yeah, gotta move it. Okay, put it over here. <laughs> <Don't look at laughs> it. Sorry, Laura, I'm not trying to freak you out. <laughs> okay, all right. So, so far, so I've got like these nice three big slices of watermelon. I'm going to chop them up um, and then I'm gonna put them off to the side. I need more bowls than I realized. Okay, get another big bowl. And then we're actually gonna start, uh, we should make a cocktail first and then we'll do the salad. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, you know, I've got three rounds here. I'm gonna chop it up into little chunks. I think that, that works, right? It's such a ruby. <gasps> Daniel, hi. Okay. Wow, this watermelon is like super ripe too. Cause isn't there like a thing where you like, if you knock, you know, on a watermelon, that's how you tell if it's right. Yes, no, yes. Anybody have any weigh in on that? I don't know. The woman just told me this was a good one. I was at the farmer's market. And she was like, yep, that's a good one. Okay. <laughs> yep. You have my complete faith. <laughs> that might be one of my less uh, survival skill, you know, qualities. My trusting of people. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's. You know what? Let's put the Okay, we're gonna put the watermelon in here. And I've got these nice watermelon chunks now. Here. Let me apron. That's what aprons are for, right? Ta-da! So now we've got all these watermelon chunks. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god, so good. Oh, oh hey. I just <laughs> right, there's there's got to be an easier way to do this. Yes. Okay. Yes. Nailed it. Okay. Watermelon. Okay, but watermelon chunks now. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> this, this. I don't know. Slightly disastrous episode so far. Okay, hold on. Let me get the camera so I'm not bumping it and moving it. All right, so now we have finally a whole bowl of um, cut up watermelon. <laughs> and now we can start making the salad. Everything else. For the love of God, don't tell your grandmother. Ah, that I didn't think she has a chef knife. Every grandma's issued one by the government. <laughs> well, Craig, my grandmother watches. She watches this show. <laughs> so she will find out that I didn't think she had a chef's knife. She will find out one way or another. Grandmothers always do. My watermelon acad academia. <laughs> Manette. <laughs> hey, oh my gosh. You saw watermelon and you're here for it. Yes. Hi. Oh my gosh. Watermelon. Yes. See, there's so much of it. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? I started making a salad. Okay. First, we need to make a drink. We need to make a drink. I don't know. I've got two different drinks in mind. Mm, I guess we better do the one in the title first, right? This like watermelon kiwi cooler. I'm so excited about the salad though. For real, arugula and watermelon, you wouldn't think it, but it's so good. This is like, this is so simple. Okay, I'm really excited about this salad, but we will do the drink first. <laughs> mm. 
Aw, thanks for checking it out, guys. Hi, Scott. Hi, Diana. Okay. Um, so drink. <gasps> Guess what? Also, I have so many gifts this week. So I have this new apron that I'm very excited about. I was gifted a shaker set. No more mason jars. Although, I don't know. Mason jar might make a comeback. <laughs> like, but it's so fancy. I've got like a strainer. I've got a whole thing. A whole thing. Now, okay. What I want to do, again, as I said at the beginning, I am winging this whole episode. This is just, I haven't made any of this ahead of time. Just trying it out. So, vodka. Simple syrup. I have a watermelon seltzer, kiwi. Yeah, I think that's that. So, okay, the vodka I'm using. So I, 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 I should probably not try to pronounce this because I will butcher it. It's a Polish vodka though. And one of my best friends, Gabriella, who recently had a baby. So, ooh, so, and he's adorable. His name's Isaac. So cute. But anyway, she is Polish and she swears by this vodka and she got me hooked on it. I think it's a pretty decent, like it's a pretty decent smooth vodka. <laughs> Mush. Okay. I have to get rid of the white bits. They're bitter. Okay. 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 I will do that. I will only use the red bits for the things I'm making and I will go back and I will cut the white bits. I thought I thought you said not to waste anything. Which one is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, so I've got a kiwi here. I've chopped it in half. I'm gonna chop the, I'm gonna take the skin off of it. So I'm gonna use like, I don't know, like a slice or two of kiwi, I think. Again, haven't made this one yet. So we'll just give it a try. If it needs more, then we'll add more. Okay, so let's see. I've got three slices of kiwi. Okay, oh, this is so weird. I have to remember, use this shaker <laughs> set for things. Okay, so, shaker set. I'm gonna do, so this is for the watermelon kiwi cooler. I'm really excited about this one. Okay, so I'm gonna do one shot of vodka. Oh man, look at this poor thing. <gasps> It does, it pours so nicely. And I'm not like spilling it everywhere. Imagine that. Okay. We might need more than one shot. We might need two. I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna do about half an ounce of simple syrup. I think we, I, I think we need more than one shot of vodka. Mm. Let me just try one to start out with. Then I'm gonna put my three kiwi slices in here. Then I'm gonna take three watermelon slices, watermelon chunks, I guess, right? No, more, more watermelon. Let's put six ice. Oh my gosh, I've got that like watermelon song, like that watermelon sugar high song. Put that in my head as, as, as I'm doing this. Yeah. Anyway, put that in my head. No. I don't know. We'll try it with one shot, but I feel like it might need two. Yeah. I'm going to do, you know what? I'm going to do two ounces two ounces of vodka. So this big one, so this big top one is an ounce and a half and I'm gonna do two ounces. Yeah. 
Now leave it at half an ounce of simple syrup, I think though. Mm, no. Okay. Okay. So now I've done three fourths of an ounce of simple syrup, two ounces of vodka. Okay, let's see. With kiwi and watermelon. <laughs> And simple syrup. Ooh, it, does, it feels so cold. Look, it's so frosty. Yes, always go for the extra shot. I like the way you think. Okay. Ooh, oh, 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 okay. This side. Whoa. Wow. Ooh, yeah, that's strong. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> I gotta try a sip of this. It's so pretty though. Wait, wait, wait. Look, look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying not to move the camera out too much, but. Mm. Okay. It is good, it needs more watermelon. Yeah. So, let's say, let's say like, like 10 watermelon chunks. Yeah. Oh, I'm really excited about this, okay. Ah, let's see, I'm spilling it all over the place. That doesn't happen with my mason jar. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing though. Entirely possible. Okay, we need some ice in this cup. Okay, so what I was thinking, like what kind of glass I thought would be really nice for this. Um, you know, it's like those tall, like slim mojito glasses, but I don't have like a fancy one like that. I kind of realized that. I only have like, like I have these ones, but you wouldn't be able to see it that well. So, handy dandy mason jar, just in a different form. Okay, ooh, ooh, yes. And then I'm gonna use the strainer. Okay, now this is handy, this strainer thing. This is very handy. Oh my gosh. Wow, that looks really pretty. Okay, so I'm, I'm doing this without the watermelon chunks, but I might just toss all the watermelon chunks in there. I like the drink, like I like chunks in my drink. It's like sangria, I don't know. Oh my God, whoa. Okay, this is such a mess here now. I didn't even shake that, I don't know what happened. No, well, it smells like watermelon. It's watermelon sparkling water. Okay. And that. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is happening here? <coughs> I'm going to add in like one more ice cube. Oop. Wow. Okay. Ugh. I am a mess. <laughs> There's watermelon juice and everything everywhere. Oh my gosh. That is so pretty. Well, you know what I want to do? I just want to put like one or two little kiwi chunks just like floating on the top just because it'll look pretty. I mean, not, like, you know. I don't think it'll do anything, but. Okay. Okay. All right. I've got some kiwi chunks. Boop, boop. Oh my gosh. It looks so pretty. Okay. 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 I gotta do one more and then you can see what a mess this whole thing is. Wow. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That is so pretty. 
That turned out so pretty. Oh. <gasps> okay. Oh, all right. I have to try it now, right? So, because like, hopefully, it's as good as it looks. Okay. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. That is like, that is so good. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Okay. That That's so delicious. I can't taste any um, liquor at all. It's so light and refreshing. It tastes like I'm sipping watermelon cotton candy. That's what it tastes like. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. Okay, I will put that in the description. So it's two ounces of vodka. 0.75, or, you know, three quarters ounce <clears throat> simple syrup. Um, oh, and you know what? Because I want to, I'm just going to toss in all my watermelon chunks because I like that so. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. The kiwi. <laughs> mm, yum. Mm, 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 mm. I would say there's probably like a half cup of watermelon if I had to like judge. You know, and then a couple slices of kiwi and ice and seltzer. You could use regular seltzer. Now, I think. The watermelon seltzer, even though it exploded on me. Um, I think that did kind of make it, you know, um, it definitely helped with the watermelon, just really like infusing it with that watermelon flavor. Um, but you could get like a, I mean, if you wanted, I mean, you could just get like a plain seltzer. If you like things a little on the like less sweet side, you could also get, um, let me wash my hands quick. Um, you also get, a kiwi seltzer if you could find that like that'd be cool because it'd be a little bit more of that kiwi flavor Ooh, oh my gosh oh i'm so thrilled with this i almost want to just make the other cocktail right now just because i'm like so excited <laughs> um i think we should probably make the salad first and then i guess save the other cocktail for the end uh, i don't know whatever if you guys want to see the other cocktail right now I will do the other cocktail, but I can also start making the salad. So if any of you have any opinions on it, I am, I'm open, I'm open to ideas. I have to get this cutting board out of the way here because as you guys saw, it is like, it is covered in seltzer and watermelon juice and everything. So let me grab just like, a whole new one. We can start this salad. Okay. Oh, that looks great. Thank you. On the next one, try muddling up some of the fruit. Oh, that's a great idea. Oh my gosh. Thanks, Craig. Yeah, that's a great idea. I well, because I have this fancy shaker set, I have a muddler. I did a, a mud mudder? Muddler? Muddler. I guess that is that what you said? Would call it? But I have one of the things to do that now. <laughs> I didn't have it before. Okay, so we still got a ton of watermelon left. I have my mixed greens and arugula. Now this part is so simple. I didn't hear anyone weighing in. But we need to see the other cocktail right now. So I'm gonna do the salad quick and then we will do the other watermelon cocktail if we're feeling it at the end. But right now, oh, we can continue sipping the watermelon kiwi cooler. Mm. Oh my God. Oh, that, oh, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. It's so good. Just can't taste anything. I mean, anything is I'm just like watermelon goodness. Um, cool. All right. So this salad is so simple and, you know, hoping it will be so good. I haven't tried it, so I don't know, but the ingredients I have, so I had one, I got one bag of, now Wegmans has it already mixed for you with arugula and mixed greens. So that's what I have here. Um, mm, it smells so good. I love arugula. Um, 
Yeah. So, you know, I think a lot of stores though, don't like, they don't already mix it for you. Um, you know, you tend to get like arugula as a bag and mixed greens as a bag. So you could totally get two small bags and then just mix them up. Again, Wegmans already did it for me. So I'm going to stick to that. So got a bag of, I think I'm gonna bag of sliced almonds, fresh cracked pepper. I think this makes a really, like it makes a really big difference to have the fresh cracked pepper as opposed to just like, you know, little like salt and pepper shaker things. Feta cheese, I got it already um, crumbled. It just makes it a little easier. Um, and what else? White balsamic vinaigrette. So I um, I made this um, a little bit earlier today. It was super simple. Olive oil, I bought some white balsamic vinegar. I use the fresh cracked pepper, salt, garlic powder, and um, instead of using sugar to make this dressing, I used simple syrup. Um, and I actually really liked how it came out with using simple syrup in dressing as opposed to sugar. Now, the thing is, I found that I needed to use a little bit less simple syrup than I would have used just like granulated white sugar. Um, so that was an interesting thing I kind of found. I I had never, I, mean, I never made simple syrup before I started this uh, channel, I guess. <laughs> Show, disaster, you know, hub, whatever we want to call it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd never made simple syrup before that. So I never like even thought to use it in salad dressing, but it turned out pretty well. And then you don't have to wait for like the sugar to dissolve. I don't know. I liked it. I liked it. I felt like it was a little bit more of almost like a subtle sweet flavor. So, okay, so first what we're gonna do, we start with the almonds. Um, now, let me see. I'll we'll use like a half cup of almonds and see how that looks. Okay, sprinkle half a cup in. simple so I think we just like yeah hmm. let's see I guess we'll add cheese in next yeah. I know I'm really hoping these go well together I think it will I've heard of ah. if I can get it open mmm yum Mm, oh my gosh, fresh feta cheese. Yes, I'm all about this. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna do like a half cup of feta cheese too. Whoop, whoop. A little more, because you know, whatever. Who doesn't love extra cheese in salad? Break up some of these like really big chunks. Whoop. Okay, cool. Mix that in. I see any of these like really big chunks like that, you know, probably like break them up a little bit. Cool. So this is what it looks like so far. Almonds, cheese. Hmm. I think we'll mix the dressing in next, right? And cracked pepper, then watermelon on top, and then try it because it's so simple because it's a salad. Ugh. <laughs> Man, I'm so used to, I'm like, there must be something I have to cook, bake. Did I turn on the oven? Yeah. I'm like thinking, I'm like, I, I, I missed something, right? Pop some oregano. Ooh, you mean in the dressing or in the salad? Oh my gosh, Rachel, you're making arugula salad with me? Yay, I love it. I love it. That is one of the... Um, that's one of the goals with, um, so I am working on a website and a blog. God, it's been such a struggle. I'm having to, I went with one platform and it is not working for me. And I have to start all over again and try like with a whole new platform. So I am hoping to have it in a couple weeks. It's just like, whew, it's, it's taking a lot of time. And I have a lot of like material for the blog and stuff already. It's just like, eh. 
But anyway, one thing I'm really hoping to do is maybe like occasionally for the live episodes, especially if they're like really simple like this, I'd like to come out with all the ingredients ahead of time. So it's like if you were free and you were watching and you wanted to make something similar or something that I'm making on the show, you can just like make it with me. So you could make a rugula salad. You could chop the watermelon much better than I did. You could, <laughs> you know, you can make a cocktail like along with me, you know, so, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, go through the disaster together and just watch me mess up and then you do it right. Hmm, oregano. Okay, okay. All right. Let's, I think I have oregano. A thing here. Fake spice. That's rosemary. Yeah. I feel like we should definitely have oregano. There's basil. Full oregano. There we go. All right, okay. I will take this suggestion and pop in a little bit of oregano into this vinaigrette. Let me set this off to the side for a moment. Big syllable. I'll throw some mm, oregano into this vinaigrette. Let's see. Craig, if this is a prank and you're just steering me wrong, well, well, I don't know. I'd be very upset. <laughs> but again, how upset can I be if this show is called Disasters? <laughs> Let's try that. Ooh, that's great with some oregano in it. Thank you for the suggestion. Awesome. <laughs> No messing around. I respect that. I respect that. Okay, cool. Coming back with our salad. So again, so far we've got the mixed greens and arugula, feta, half a cup of feta cheese, half a cup of um, sliced almonds. Ooh, and oh God, and drink. Mm. 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 Watermelon kiwi cooler. God, it just tastes like drinking cotton candy. There's definitely more than one shot in here. Mm. Wow, where has that drink been all my life? <sighs> okay, <laughs> now I just made, I, I don't know that I would necessarily use all this dressing for this. I made a good amount of dressing. So I'm gonna just, hold on a second, whisk it up a little bit more. I'm just gonna, whoop. Pour a little bit in. I, I probably should have measured that out. <laughs> I think that was about, I would judge that was about a quarter cup of dressing. So let's try that. I want to keep the dressing really light. Um, and now, uh, I don't have, <laughs> there's so many tools that I don't have that I recognize, but you know, I guess maybe that's part of the beauty because it's like, well, I want you to be able to do this with whatever you have lying around. Now I did find that I had a chef knife, but I did look around for this earlier, those like salad tong things, couldn't find them. But I've just got like, you know, two spatulas. I can do that, right? I can do the same thing with two spatulas. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. See, pretty simple. Mix it up. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Oh wait, there's a giant feta chunk. I'm gonna just mix that up, break it up a little bit. Again, I've said this before, I will say it again. It's like I want feta, I want almonds, I want all of it in every bite. Oh my gosh, wow, this salad looks so good. This would be like really perfect for some kind of like picnic thing. I mean, we just passed Labor Day, but you know, so I guess we're past picnicking phase now, right? Ooh, okay. So what I'm thinking next is we just top it with some watermelon. No, mm. pepper first. Fresh ground, black pepper. I'm not measuring this out. I'm just gonna do like a light dusting over the top and then mix it in.
then we'll throw in the watermelon. No white choke watermelon. <laughs> or, well, whatever, try to avoid it. Let's see. Here's my little half cup measure. Let's see, that's about, hmm. Okay, so I put on about two cups of watermelon. Let's see how that goes. I think we need a little more, but one more cup. This is a one half cup. I'm getting a little bit of juice in there as I do it too. Trying to avoid <laughs> these white chunk watermelon that I chopped up when I didn't know I was what I was doing. <laughs> Back when I was young and naive about watermelon. Oh my goodness. This looks amazing. I really hope it's as good as it looks. Cause I mixed this whole thing up. So, you know, let's hope it's really yummy. But this looks really pretty. Oh yeah, okay, look, you can see all the watermelon in it. Yay. It looks so good. And now we need a fork. Okay, this is the moment of truth. It's coming so early too. God, it's nine at six o'clock. Mm. Okay, again, so before I try a bite of this, it's mixed greens, arugula, a white balsamic vinaigrette. You can store bought or homemade, you know, whatever. I was just being a little extra and made my own. Or I just didn't want to buy it. <laughs> a little bit of both. <laughs> um, uh, sliced water a sliced watermelon, yes, of course. <laughs> sliced almonds. And feta cheese, yes. I knew there was something else. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh my gosh, ooh, wow. Arugula and watermelon. And the cheese too, that's so interesting. It's really good. I mean, I'm still eating it, right? Um, it's really interesting, it's so good. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah, that works. <laughs> oh my god that is so good wow oh that's so interesting and refreshing you know one thing I will do though is I will add a little bit more cracked pepper on it um, yeah, I think it needs it hmm Wow. Oh my goodness. That is so, so delicious. And this are, really is, <clears throat> oof. <laughs> you can see this now. This really is teeming with watermelon. So maybe I didn't have to use like a full three cups of watermelon in it. I uh, probably could have used like two, you know, and then to be a little more dispersed. But it's so good though. So. <clears throat> I mean, with this much watermelon, you are guaranteed watermelon in every bite. So, I mean, that's not so bad. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. I would also say maybe a fourth to a half cup of dressing, maybe a third cup, actually. Yeah, a third cup of dressing would probably do it. 
Mm. Mm. Yeah, wow. And Craig, I can taste the oregano in there. Thank you for that suggestion. For real, that's really good. That's really good. Yeah, and I'm glad I need, I'm, I'm glad I added a little bit of salt to, to the, um, ah, my drink. <laughs> and I just saw my drink. Mm. Um, I'm glad I added a little bit of salt to, um, to the vinaigrette because it almost needs a little bit of saltiness. And then you get a little bit of like that kind of saltiness, savoriness with the feta as well. But yeah, wow. Really, really turned out really beautiful. This is like a, oh, yeah, again, this is a great picnic salad. Now, I mean, the nature of salads in general, I definitely would like, this is, this is something that you want to wait to mix this up until like you're ready to eat it because especially like the watermelon. So like juicy, it's, you know, yeah. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. We're so good. Okay. I gotta put this salad away. I'm gonna eat all of it. <laughs> my God, it's so good. But we have one more drink to make. So I have to put this salad away right now. Mmm, yum. You put it in the fridge. Let's make some room for it. Oh no. Yeah, there we go. It just, just, just fits, just fits. Okay. So we still have a ton of watermelon left. Now we use like, I mean, I guess we've used a solid three and a half cups of watermelon at this point to make about a half cup for the kiwi cooler. Ah, yes, you're wishing for that salad. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. I, it's, it's like so delicious. But like, I feel so healthy and light. You know, when I eat watermelon, sometimes, especially like this drink too. Oh my God. It feels like I'm being so healthy, even though, I mean, it's like watermelon and simple syrup and vodka. I don't know. I don't know how healthy I'm being, but I feel very healthy because watermelon is very like light and refreshing and watery. Yeah. But so, still have a lot of watermelon left. And again, Watermelon is delicious just to eat as is, but you know, for me, it's just me and my grandmother here and I have this whole watermelon. So I gotta get like creative on how to use it up. <laughs> so next thing I wanna do, we've got time. It's a little after six. So I think we've got time for one more drink. What's, is, every, is everybody, um, is anybody drinking anything today? Hopefully everybody's like wrapping up work. I mean, unless you're working evenings, of course. But if you've been working all day, hopefully, and you're on the uh, East Coast, <laughs> hopefully you are wrapping things up. Mm. Mm. The kiwis are really nice light touch in here too. Mm. <laughs> Daniel. made anything yet you don't know what to do well what do you have to work with all right it's watermelon whipped martini time so let me rinse this out mm, that's also good yeah let me wash this quick and then we will be on our way to making the next drink i must admit the shaker does come in handy, especially the strainer. The strainer on the shaker, yes, yes. Ooh, Shafley's pumpkin ale, yum! Yes, it's like pumpkin season. Is everybody a pumpkin fan? I, I love pumpkin. I mean. I know everyone's shocked. Shocked that I love pumpkin. I'm not a big beer person, but pumpkin beer, like, I can handle that. 
I've heard um, dogfish heads pumpkin ale is really good too. It's like a, it's a brewing company out of like, it's like Baltimore, I think. All right, anybody, anybody feel free to correct me. They know better and I'm wrong on that. Huge fan of pumpkin. Oh, dogfish is in Delaware. Okay. That's kind of right, right? We got kind of close. <laughs> mm. But yeah, I've heard their pumpkin beer, pumpkin ale is very good. Okay, just gonna move a few things. So we don't need cracked pepper and we don't need sliced almonds to make a watermelon whipped martini. Not that I know of anyway. Who knows, we'll see. Oh, let me put this feta cheese in the fridge. Okay, so for this, I have whipped cream. I went and bought this whipped cream just for this drink too. <laughs> I have whipped pinnacle vodka. Again, I haven't, I think I said this um, on my last episode too, because like I have not used uh, pinnacle whipped vodka since college. And now I'm finding all these really delicious <laughs> ways to use it in cocktails. And um, yeah, it's kind of funny. I'm like, woo, flashback, pinnacle whipped. <laughs> Ooh, Aldi has a non-alcoholic pumpkin cider. Oh my gosh, you mix it with spiced rum. Ooh. Ooh, I, I, I'd be on board for that. I mean, okay everyone, there will be a pumpkin themed episode. There will be an entire pumpkin themed episode and I am excited for it. I already know one thing I'm gonna make. There might have to be multiple. There might have to be like pumpkin, you know, uh, episode 1A and then pumpkin episode 1B, like, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, again, I'm winning this one. So, but my idea is that I want a watermelon whipped martini. So let's go with, I'm gonna do two ounces of vodka again. So one and a half. I'm just filling this large one. Ooh. And then I guess about a third. So that's two ounces. I think we need some simple syrup again. I'm gonna do the pinnacle whipped is already a little sweet, so I don't want to add too much simple syrup and have it be like, you know, overpowering. So let's just do half an ounce again. Half an ounce of simple syrup. Also, I'm still a little bad. I, you know, I've only made like one martini so far. I made that like birthday cake martini. I'm trying to think of how much I used in that because I'm still a little like, I, I still don't feel super confident on like how much liquid do I need to actually like fill this up, right? Hmm. I'm not sure. Because that just doesn't look like enough you know, enough to me. I'm not sure how many ounces that thing is. Mm. Okay, but let's add watermelon. I'm gonna muddle it. Wait, I have to get the muddler. Muddler. Oh my God, it sounds like, it sounds like a, you know there's one in this box. It. it sounds like the Riddler or something. The muddler. I think it could be a, like a bad guy. The muddler. What would his superpower be? What would the muddler do? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I haven't even had my full drink yet. Okay. Mm. 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 I don't want to rush that though. God, it's so good. Yes, a pumpkin series. I'm down. I am down to do a pumpkin series. God, I think it's gonna have to happen. And apples, I love apples. Apple series, God, especially if I'm still here and like 
central Pennsylvania. Oh, I have not returned to Philly by then. Apples, there's so many apple orchards around here. Okay, so can I get half a cup? Let's get half a cup of watermelon. Oh, God. Why am I running out of room? <laughs> I also got a little bit of watermelon juice, too. You know, might as well. Okay, now I'm going to muddle it. Whoa! It's working so well. to fill like a martini glass now which is great so what two ounces of, vodka, of whipped vodka about half an ounce of simple syrup half a cup of watermelon muddle it okay i'm gonna add an ice cube into this oh my gosh it smells really good oh <laughs> I left my ice cube tray out earlier. <laughs> so now it's just water. Okay, I'm gonna add an ice cube in there. I'm so excited. Okay. My hand is hardly big enough to like hold this. Like you have to hold the top and then hold it. Like, look at this. Ugh, my hands are so small. I feel like kind of, I have to kind of, <laughs> I have to two-hand it. <laughs> That's what she said. That's what she said, though. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay. All right. Oh, my God. That smells so good. Okay. Okay. I want everyone to see this part because this looks like it's going to be so delicious. Okay. Do, do, do. Here we go. Let me get my strainer. Ah, we'll see how much this makes. No. Hmm. Okay, so that was not quite enough. All right, I gotta redo it. It looked really pretty though, right? Looked super pretty, but that was not enough. Okay, we gotta do more. Hmm, let's see. I guess we could go with three ounces. <laughs> Add oregano to it, that fixes everything. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, so let's see. We did two ounces already. All right. Okay. I'm now trying three ounces of vodka. One more. One more simple syrup. Oh, 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 wrong thing. We're doing the wrong one. Okay. Okay, I'm doing one ounce of simple syrup. Three ounces of pinnacle whipped. I'm gonna add some more watermelon in. Yeah, okay. One whole cup of watermelon, do you think? Ooh, maybe that's it. You know, there's nothing wrong with having a little too much in a martini. Because then you just have a little extra that you can pour back in. You know, when like, oh, shout out to one of my favorite restaurants in Philly, Tattooed Moms. Uh, they make this like, I don't know if they make it now, but there's some kind of like tequila watermelon thing. 
was really, really, really good. And they'd give you like a martini glass, I think. I think it's a martini glass. And then you would just get like the shaker. And so you'd get to, you know, whenever, you know, you drank all of yours, you always had like a little bit left, you get to pour in. So it's like, ooh, it's like a martini and a half. Again, nothing wrong with that. So, okay, let's get, let's make this just like one full cup of watermelon. I don't know, why not? Then, and then it'll probably be like, my guess is at that point, it will probably be a little too much for a martini glass, but maybe I'm wrong. Because even when I muddle it, there's still a lot of like chunks at the bottom that aren't, you know, aren't coming out, so aren't coming into the drink. Okay. I'm not gonna shake it with another ice cube. I'm gonna just shake it with so. Oh, again. <laughs> Okay, uh, moment of truth. Okay, so I'm gonna put the camera down again so we can see the pouring process. See, this actually works. Okay, so this is three ounces of Pinnacle Whipped, one ounce of simple syrup, a cup of watermelon, and one ice cube. Oh, yes, yes, this is it, yes, oh my gosh, I'm so excited, god, it's so pretty, I really hope it tastes as good as it looks, because, like, it looks great, Oof. damn, that's, like, weighty, there's a whole cup of watermelon in there, okay, okay, looks so pretty, okay, We need whipped cream. I'm so excited. Okay, first we just have to take a sip. Just a sip on its own. Wow, do you see this? Oh my gosh, this looks so beautiful. It's like, almost like ruby grapefruit colored, but it's watermelon, but like, oh, wow, it's so pretty. I'm trying really, really hard not to move right now so I don't spill this. I'm being very still. Oh my God. <laughs> oh no, I just made a really bad pun in my head. Oh, I, have to tell, I have to tell you guys now. I was like, this is the pinnacle of a watermelon whipped martini. <laughs> oh God, I can't laugh though, but it's pinnacle vodka, pinnacle whipped vodka that I'm using, but I can't laugh. Whew. I'm gonna spill this. God, I almost just did. Okay. Mm. Oh my goodness. Okay, lowering it carefully onto the table. <laughs> Woo, <laughs> Woo. okay. I have to have a cream before I drink this whole thing, but it's so, um, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Yes, Daniel, like the dreamiest drink. Wait, wait till we see the whipped cream on top. Oh, thanks, Scott. Thanks so much for tuning in. Oh, uh, yes, yes, there will be another episode live next week. Thank you. Okay, all right. Ooh, let's see if I can hold this. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. It is so beautiful. Oh, wow. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, okay. Uh, carefully moving to have a sip. Ah. This is a watermelon sugar high. Oh my God. <laughs> this is so delicious. Uh, wow. Wow. It, it, I mean, this is dessert. It's a dessert. It is a dessert cocktail. It's so sweet. It's so good. It is. It's like a watermelon dream. <gasps> it's a watermelon dreamsicle. Mm. Mm. Daniel, Daniel, you totally gave me the idea for that name. Oh my God. It's, I just can't stop. It's so good. Can't stop. Won't stop. Okay. Wow. I'm setting that down right now. Wow, wow, it's just, oh my gosh, I can't though. Mmm. It is so good. Look at it, it's so fancy. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my God. Well, I'm gonna need a salad after all these drinks. Oh my gosh, it is like, I am going to have a sugar high, absolutely. But these drinks are so good, like you can't taste liquor in them at all. Like you can't, they're just, are so effortless, they're so refreshing. This one is like, all right, if you're not like a sweets person, the watermelon kiwi cooler is definitely the one to go with. If you do really like your sweets, I would say this is the one you wanna go with. It's really, it's really like mm, dessert. It's so good. Mm. Oh my god. Yep, I need a salad. Balance out all the sugar now. <laughs> Anything's dessert when you dump half a can of whipped cream on it. <laughs> Facts. Facts. Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, that's it. That's all, folks. And that's all. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for coming <laughs> with me on my watermelon journey. I don't think there were, I don't know, some slight disaster. Well, yes. Okay. Okay. There were some slight disasters in the beginning, chopping this watermelon. Thank you all for bearing with me through that. <laughs> if you've gotten to the end, well, you get a lucky, you get like a lucky golden star by now. Golden ticket. <laughs> um, these drinks are fabulous. I hope you guys get to try them. I know it's kind of like end of summer. It's still a little hot though. Mm. Watermelon at the end of the summer is great, I think. Anytime it's great, but you know, you really want it in the summer and like those hot days. These drinks are super refreshing, really light, super watermelon. Oh, I love it. So, um, and as I mentioned before at the beginning, um, I did a shout out, check out No Avatars Allowed. It's an awesome podcast all about like theology and philosophy and video games and gaming. Woo, all the wonderful things combined. So um, I will be putting details for the shout out um, in the description. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed this, please like the video, subscribe. Thank you for checking out this week, coming live. Hopefully you guys can try some cocktails on your own. Happy Friday. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Go live your best watermelon dreams. <laughs> Bye.